Hello y'all, welcome to another mukbang. I'm in another alley in Toronto. Um, I gotta hurry up, cause number one, it's windy, and number two, I'm pretty sure a car is gonna drive in front of me or behind me any second, but we gonna pray that that doesn't happen. My makeup looks so good. A little bit of flashback in, 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 underneath my eyes, but who cares? We got Afro pizza. I've been dying to try it. It's been all over TikTok. Okay, so we're gonna see like which one's which. We're gonna try each and every one of them. They're each personal pizzas. Oh my God, that looks so good. I'll try and pull up the names of the pizza. I'm hungry, y'all. We're just gonna go in. I'm excited! Oh my god. I'm pretty sure this is the chicken and waffle pizza, y'all. I just tasted syrup. The chicken and waffle pizza! Mmm. We got three pizzas to try. The crust is good, fresh, everything fresh. This was $12, y'all, $12. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm. This is their personal size pizza. This is really good. Have you guys been listening to the Beyonce album? Let's talk about it. So it's so windy, like the wind blew me to the ground today. Mm. Mm. Okay, seven out of 10. I don't know if this is, I think, I'm pretty sure this is the chicken gnome. This might be something else, but I'm gonna pull up the name, y'all. Hold on. I could be wrong. Uh -uh. But they also sell some um, drinks, watermelon flavored. It's actually so good. Guys, I'm hungry, y'all. We're gonna, we're gonna blow, we're gonna blow through Afro pizza. So far, that one is like, an eight out of ten like it's really freaking good oh is this i got i got a germ, um jerk chicken pizza a jerk chicken jerk chicken i don't think that's it i don't think this is a jerk chicken pizza but we gonna try it as usual oh my god and i love the crust the crust is so good people are walking by in front of me they're like what the fuck what the frick is going on none of your business Mm. 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 Wow. <laughs> Baby. Baby, do one. That is fresh, crispy, fluffy. Oh my god. Mm. I love the message behind the pizza and the company, which is pizza doesn't have to be so expensive. Good, healthy ingredients can be in pizza too. You know what I mean? So a lot of these ingredients that he uses, the owner is a black guy, sweet guy. I'm like starving. He's like telling me, I'm like, I just want the pizza. I'm so hungry. Mm. Mm. The first one is still, still the best because the, the syrup in that, or whatever sweetness is in that. The message, which is pizza can also have healthy ingredients too and local ingredients. It doesn't have to be super expensive. This entire pizza, $12 and it's worth 20 at least. Mmm. Mmm. The first one, 7.5. I'll say this is... That one is an egg. This one actually tastes like a pizza. I put the names up on here. One more, one more pizza, y'all. Whoever thought that Beyonce, like whoever doesn't like Beyonce, we're not friends. You're a psycho. I say what I say. A lot of people who don't like Beyonce, they'd be like, oh, they don't give an actual reason as to why they don't like Beyonce. They're just like, oh, I just don't like her. Okay, so 
You know, you may, you may not like her, but how about her music? Do you like her music? Because if you're listening to Cowboy Carter, their new album, and you're saying you hate it, get checked. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. And it's like, it's not like Renaissance where all the songs are kind of the same. Ooh, that has like a lot of meat and jalapenos. Try this one. I'm excited. Ooh, damn. Damn, baby. Is that a little green on top? No one's behind me, right? Mm. The first one was definitely chicken and waffle. This is more like a pizza. And he said that he's, the owner said you definitely might be addicted to this one. No, the chicken and waffle was fire. Mmm, mmm, ah, oh, it's spicy. This is like pizza. This is like it tastes, it tastes like a spaghetti, like a pasta. Now, I have so many favorite songs from the Cowboy Carter album. Number one, definitely has to be Bodyguard. Name all of your favorite songs in the comments below. Bodyguard, Jolene, Blackbird, Protector. Like literally half of the album is freaking fire. I'm sorry, if you don't, I can't be friends. Like, oh. My colleague is so sweet. She goes, um, I don't like Beyonce because she's stuck up. I'm sorry. No, she's not. Number two, you, she can still be stuck up and still create good music. And she, I don't think she's stuck up. How is she stuck up? Because she is the best. She puts perfection in perfection. Don't blame me. If those, those of you who are haters of Beyonce, put why. You need to be looking at an actual reason. An actual reason. Not on you stuck up. Beyonce never comes out in public. Oh, but she's stuck up. How you know she's stuck up if, stuck up if she doesn't come out in public? Stop. This is actually so much pizza. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to the chicken and waffle because I feel like that one is the best. That's the best. Because the like the syrup inside the dough like soaks in the dough. It's so good. Like, is this it? Yeah, it's the best. It's, it's fire. I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm already so full. I only ate three, three pieces, but... Mm-hmm. It's deep dish, baby. Deep dish. Chicago style. Chicago deep dish, baby. You see that? You guys can kind of see the syrup. So that, that, that's the syrup, y'all. So, Beyonce, there's so much of Beyonce to go around in this album. This country, you got soul, you got some little bit pop, you got op opera. Mmm. 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 The chicken and waffles has watermelon. Did I tell you guys that? Somehow the watermelon on the pizza tastes so good with the chicken. Oh my God, this is crazy. The chicken is actually chicken soft. Oh my God. Go, go to this place, y'all. I'm recommending my brother to come here because my brother's coming in a few weeks, so he's gonna come. And he loves trying out new spots in Toronto. He's a foodie like me, he tries out new spots in Toronto. So I'm gonna recommend this place and I'm gonna say it's freaking fire, bro. I'm happy no cars behind me. But yeah, this is, this has to be one of my favorite um, Beyonce albums ever, album of the year. I also do think that it's gonna be the, the album for the next couple of years. Like it's, it's, it's amazing.
It's gonna be album for the next two years. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, the wind is so bad. There's gonna be so many accidents on the highway, on everything. I'm gonna put on a podcast and start driving right now. This Arizona watermelon flavor. It's so good. Hopefully it doesn't have any caffeine in it. I really like it. I'm so full. But like the dough is so good. It's like it kind of reminds me of like Leader Caesar's dough, but better. Oh my god, this is crazy. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Next time though. I'm gonna stay away from actual pizzas. Like I love this chicken and waffle get get because they have like a jerk chicken, which I think was what I got, but I didn't really like it. You have samosa pizza, it's so good. I'm telling you. Mmm. Cowboy Carter. Cowboy Carter. So freaking amazing you guys need to listen to it the thing is with me and music i don't listen to a lot of music but when i do it's really important to me i kind of allow the music to move me kind of make me feel in the things i need to feel i look at music as as adventure as an adventure as a journey so for me, the entire Cowboy Artem, um, Cowboy Carter album makes me feel so good inside that I will, I'm, I'm leaving it on. I've been listening nonstop since it came out. Again, if you're saying you don't like Beyonce, that's fine. But if you're saying you don't like Beyonce's music, that's another thing. You got to say your reasons down below as to why you don't like Beyonce's music versus you can not like her. But this, like, we don't even know her. We don't know her enough to say we don't like her. You know what I mean? We don't. No, actually, I'm not even gonna say that. <laughs> we don't know her enough to say that we don't like her. So because of that, every one of y'all need to listen to their album. It's that good. And y'all know I don't listen to music like that. And when I do, it's very selective. Look. I don't remember the time I listening to music. I don't know why. But I literally was talking about the album. I was like, let me let me listen. Amazing. Amazing. I, I'm telling you, Bodyguard, Jolene, Blackbird, 16 Carriages, Protect Her, Alligator Tears. Those are like literally, that's literally half the album. Beyonce did her big one on there. I'm sorry. What is what else is there to say? Wow, I'm actually really full. I don't know how, even though I didn't eat much today. Stay woke, stay healthy, stay safe. Definitely don't forget to subscribe. I don't know what you're doing here if you're not. Okay. And y'all know if you want to know the newest food items in Toronto, y'all know that's me. I always get you connected. And then, as always, stay woke, stay healthy, stay safe. Um, we'll see what happens next week. I don't know what I'm doing next week. I was thinking about doing something. Well, maybe I'll do a poll. Let me know. If, should I do a poll? Or you recommend something in the comments? <laughs> Y'all, this is a collaboration. This is a collaboration. You collaborate with me, baby girl. You, baby boy, you collaborate.